Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install an, a Samsung SSD into an, your Alienware X51. So before you begin, you need your computer. You need your new SSD drive. So I got the 250 GB one. You also need like your set, SATA, SATA cable. Your Molex to SATA cable. And your Molex to Molex cable. I mean, you could you could also find one from Molex to Molex and SATA cable because um, later on I'll show you. You need to take your power supply from the DVD and split it to the DVD plus the SD the SSD. So you also need a screwdriver and maybe some duct tape for mounting the um, the SSD. Okay, I've got my computer laid down on the table now. And so at the back you see a screw. It's over here. There's a screw over there. Sorry, it's a bit too dark. So take off the screw and you just slide it open. So you want to put your case somewhere else. This is what your computer should look like inside. So, um, what we're going to do is take off the screws here, and I'll just show you in a bit. There's only one screw, so after, after taking that off, you want to just disconnect this cable here. This is the your power and your um, SATA cable. Just pop it out slowly. Yep, it should come off. Just slide the drive out. So this is a DVD drive. Let's put it aside. So right here you you see your um, your motherboard. So this is the Molex cable from the Molex connector to the motherboard. Um, so this is where the power is, and we have to tap into that. And these are the, your SATA cables. So let me see if I can get a better light. So there's actually one spare um, SATA um, connection. Yep, so I turn on the, the light from my camera phone and you can see here there's a just right below here is your extra SATA port where you can install so so what I'm going to do is um, this, this will go to your SSD and into the motherboard but first we have to um, take this out this one is the Molex the 4 pin connector let's gently wiggle it out Yep, so this is a female one, and just take your um, your extension, your splitter, whatever. So this is a male to female, female. Okay, so what you want to do is plug your female into the, the male into the female. And since I, I don't have a so, so you can get some of those that have have a um, female Molex to and a SATA connection, but since I don't have one, I have to use my um, another splitter. So this is a male Molex four pin to a SATA cable. Just plug it in, and this will connect to your SSD. So I'm just going to take out my SSD right now. And I'll show you what's inside. You have your installation guide, your warranty, and they also give you this disk, this installation disk. It's like a, a migration software where you can just um, 
transfer your OS over. And I'm gonna try that later on. So, so this is the SSD itself. And it's really light and small. It's like barely anything inside. So, so here what we're gonna do is connect your the power, the SATA power, and your SATA data cable. And this this will go into your, your spare SATA um, port in, in the motherboard, and this will go to your power connector. Just take this. So take the end of your um, cable, just plug it in. This cable is in fact a bit too long. Yep, so just to check your connections. And so this, we have to plug this back into your DVD drive, your, your Blu-ray drive, I'm sorry. And we want, we want to um, stick the cables out of the way. And we're going to put back your um, DVD drive, um, Blu-ray drive. Gosh, now it's Blu-ray all over the market now. So, so, um, so it's this way, I think. No, this way. Yep. So it's going to be a tight fit, so you have to be a bit careful in, in doing so. So my phone went out of battery. I'm in storage space. So what I did here, so I have to do it over again. So what I did here, I, so I, after putting back your Blu-ray drive, I connected the RAID cable, the SATA cable to the SSD and I taped it down to to the um, Blu-ray drive so that, that is flush so I taped it down so they wouldn't would not move around and then I just tucked the wires underneath and connected the, the motherboard to the case back and now I'm just going to put everything back together and put it up 